What's going on YouTube? We are back with another video. The boy King's here. We have Dying Light to Stay Human official gameplay trailer. I have no idea what this game is about. I have never heard of this game before. Um, and apparently this is the second one. Uh, the only reason why I clicked on this thing was because the thumbnail reminded me of a modern day Assassin's Creed. It looked like um, uh, Bayek of Siwa or a descendant of Bayek of Siwa from Assassin's Creed Origins was standing over a uh, 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 torn up uh, city uh, or abandoned city or old city or whatnot. So that's the only reason why I clicked on this. Decided to share with you guys. Without further ado, let's get right into it. And here we go. May contain content captured in game. Some scenes have been edited to avoid spoilers. Oh, good shit. Hey, everyone. We've been quiet for some time. Mm. Since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. But yo, gaming up. has come so freaking far, yo. Like, I am just old enough to appreciate shit like reflections and mirrors and shit like that. Like, can we just take some time to 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 like the detail for the reflection of the sunlight and the mirrors and stuff like that we have come so fucking far when it, in the gaming like um miles morales spider-man miles morales like you saw the fingerprints on the man's headphones in the opening credit scenes of the first scene of the first game of the gameplay you can see his fingerprints right you can see the dirt in between the uh the grooves of his timberlands like gaming has come has so far hurdles to clear I'm just Wait, old enough so. to appreciate it. Like, my, if my brother was here, he would tell me to shut Let's the fuck dive up. Into the open world of Dying Light 2. But. Damn! Alright. Techland presents. The last what you got? slice of Dying Light 2 showcased the mission from the main storyline. Mm -hmm. You get out there, those fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed the environment. Uh huh. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game and a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months. Right. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city, probably the last bastion of mankind in the world. Mm. Another zombie game. At first, you feel like this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet the Night Runners, veteran survivors who helped people in better days. By the way, I'm Hakon. You were a Night Runner. You used to help people, remember? Night Runners are gone. Finished. A myth. A myth. And although it's not entirely clear... You got some Assassin's Creed Fallen action, I see. A man. The hell are you flipping for? Assassin's Creed. Like I said, Bayek of Siwa in this motherfucker. And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. <laughs> hell yeah, especially when you handle this shit like that. Goddamn outlast shit. And these are the modern dark ages. It's been 15 years since the apocalypse, and the world has changed. The old years. civilization has fallen, but a new one has been built on its ashes. People fight desperately for scarce resources. Mm -hmm. Rules are broken, and weakness is punished. She's innocent! Three Damn. factions struggle for position in the city. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere. Okay. Loyal soldiers who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Uh -huh. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole rulers of the city. Where is Okay, so you got the renegades, you got the survivors, and you got the uh, the loyal military. Okay, cool. Renegades are prisoners. Um, the military is obviously military, and the survivors are people that are just civilians that pride themselves on being able to adapt to any situation. Okay, 
I like that man's mask. It's like the Court of Owls decided to paint one half this way and one half that way. It's like uh, Two-Face infiltrated the Court of Owls and told them, if you don't fuck with me, I'm going to fuck everybody up. Mixed with a little bit of anarchy right here. Mixed all that shit. Uh, why the fuck does he have spikes protruding right here? God forbid if he lifts his arm fast enough, his ear canal is fucked. This dude is not intimidating anybody. He looks like he's hurting just to stand up right there. Go fuck. I'm just looking at everything, the detail, all that shit, the 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 the, the, the gasps, the, the, the gasp of light in the back. It's just a lot of shit going on right now. It's a lot of shit. It looks very unsanitary. Make him talk. Of course, the court of owl motherfucker will make Use you talk. These factions to reach your goal. Help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking. Really? Just remember. Each faction contains complex characters. Right. Nosy Parker, ain't you? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. Right. Of course. Yet, nightfall scares all of them equally. Darkness changes the rules of the world. As the light fails, monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on the poor souls caught outside the safety of UV rays. Mm. Hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava. Uh -huh. The deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation and evolution. Man. So, okay. The breath's hot! Okay, so what I'm gathering is some of these people, I mean, not some people, some of these zombies prefer to come out at night or they only can come out at night. But there are zombies that do stay out during the daylight. Those are like the low level zombies. So we do have some I Am Legend action going on here. Some advanced zombie type shit that only happens at night. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. You know what they should do? They should have a fucking person in here. Uh, um. Uh, NPC in here that looks just like Will Smith from I Am Legend. That would be dope. Or a descendant of Will Smith. That would be awesome. And then have the the uh, the German Shepherd Samantha uh, as one of the dogs that looks just like him and all that shit. Your only escape? <laughs> Exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. <laughs> Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. <laughs> So they got some running motherfuckers in here. Or even greater threat. What the fuck? Yet night brings opportunity as well. How? Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. Hmm. To explore them, you must tread carefully. But those brave enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. A jackpot. What's that? Master the art of survival. Okay. What the? Luckily, you have all the tools you need to survive. That man got hops, and they make that shit seem so. It was his mirror's edge. Even the most treacherous terrain. Is this fucking Mirror's Edge? What the fuck are you doing? What, what, what is that? What the fuck are you doing? Okay, look, okay, this is one of me one of one of those uh cartoons that symbolize something. Okay, so we have a man on all fours. With his tongue extra long, abnormally long, and at the bottom it looks like there's a bunch of cash inside of a hat. He's a bitch for money. That's what I'm. That's what I'm gathering. He's a he's a bitch for money. 
Like he's he's a he's a dog for money. He he'll salivate for money. He'll do anything for money. He eats money like a like a he's a dog and his food is money. That's how you get them to come. Okay, I got it. Wait 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck up. Hold. I'm sorry. Was that a trampoline? I hope that was a fucking trampoline. This must be some sort of trampoline because I know this motherfucker did not just jump from here to here without any assistance. Did that did that did that thing that he injected inside him give him some type of um, amplified boost? Maybe that could be a possibility. Um, um, what the fuck? Wow! It's like he stopped in the air and it kept going higher. On the roofs, you can count on your parkour acrobatics to save your life. But often, you'll have to face your enemies head on. And then you have to be smart. I uh, got some uh, Batman First shit going on. And determined. <laughs> so this game is like a mist of Assassin's Creed. Uh, a typical zombie game. Uh, Call of Duty, uh, Mirror's Edge. But even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. You have multiple ways to hone your skills toward the gameplay style that suits you best. Damn. It's up to you if you focus mostly on mobility and parkour, or aggressive, blunt force combat, or a crafty approach where the tools you've created get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite move. Your choice is your world. That's what's up. Things move fast and quick in Dying Light 2. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Don't lose your actions. Choose your actions carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative. That's some borderlands action. The city's residents. Oh fuck. But most importantly, you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. Ah, uh, I like that. So you gotta constantly, like, you know, make sure you're not getting affected. Also, to actually act, act, you know, add that to the gameplay. Okay, that's what's up. Release date. When's the release date? Let's go. December seventh, twenty twenty-one. And for what systems? Is this a PC game? What is this? Hmm. Tell me. Tell me, you bitch. I can't see because this I'm okay. I saw a little bit. It's like a I think it is Xbox. Okay, that was this is pretty good. This is pretty dope. Pretty dope game. It's like a combination of all types of shit. Mirror's Edge, Call of Duty, uh, typical zombie game, uh, Assassin's Creed, um, Borderlands. Also, there's a lot. It's a lot of good shit. I might actually fuck with this. I, I you know I'm gonna I'm do what you're not supposed to do. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go straight to two and f say fuck one because I feel like the two advancements are going to make me not even want to mess with one. Um, so I'm just gonna go straight to two. That's what I'm gonna do. But it looks dope. December seventh, twenty twenty one. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys all thought about my reaction. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you're new, make sure you hit the bell icon and subscribe to have post notifications of my latest videos. Uh, until next time, guys. Deuces.